It'll be Kyrie Irving and the Cleveland Cavaliers facing off against Kobe Bryant and the L.A. Lakers. And that'll do it from the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Welcome, everyone. This is the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, ready to bring you all the action along with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Lakers looking to make the most out of their home court advantage here at Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. State Farm presents the starting five. Look at who we've got on the floor for the Cavaliers. Lonzo G and Tristan Thompson, the duo at forward. Irving and Waiters in the back. And it's Barry Zhao in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Lakers... Kobe and Matt of the wings with the big cow Gasol at the four. Howard is out there with Nash. Not a bad way to rebuild if you're Cleveland. Two of the top five picks in the 2011 draft. They used those picks on Kyrie Irving and Tristan Thompson. Those guys are going to be part of the foundation of this club for many years to come. Kobe passes it to Gasol. Feeds it to World Peace. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Howard, the pass to Kobe, over Waiters, and there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Howard. Boy, is he spit polished offensive. His ability to break down defense is one of their driving forces. Irving made an immediate impact for the Cavaliers, and Tristan Thompson Clark eased into his role as the season progressed. Definitely a good deal for Cavalier basketball fans. Well, anytime you're trying to build, it's nice to be able to get two important and talented building blocks in one draft as the Cavs did. I mean, you can't say enough about how great those two are because not only do they have talent, they're hard workers too and excited about the future. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin. Earlier I spoke with Mike D'Antoni. I asked him if there was an X factor in this game, a player they couldn't forget about, and he said it would have to be Tristan Thompson, the power forward out of Texas. He said Thompson is still developing from a skill standpoint, but his motor is really off the charts. You always have to find him and get a body on him when the shot goes up because the guy never takes a play off. Guys, they've been forewarned. We'll see if they take it to heart. Thanks, Doris. Here's Irving after Meta World Peace's bucket. And on the way from Irving for three. Rebound by Kobe. You know, another great season for Kobe Bryant last year. He actually traveled to Germany in the offseason for a special treatment to his knee and his ankle that he said made a huge difference in his ability to play without pain. Waiters with the ball, and it's Howard picking him up. Here's G. Back to Irving. Six on the shot clock. Rebound the Lakers. Steve, you mentioned that special treatment overseas that Kobe went through. Some friends said that he had been contemplating retirement prior to the treatment, but he felt so good. He said, I'm going to play another two, three, four years. Well, he's on record as saying he doesn't want to keep playing if he can't dominate and be dominant. So the injuries held him back more than he's let on, but the treatments have actually made him feel better. And the defense really has to pick it up here, guys. They allowed themselves to get picked too easily. And it's Deion Waiters with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Nash outside. He dishes it to Kobe. Tries for the alley-oop. And Howard with the stop. Now that's how you execute an alley-oop there, fellas. And with an exclamation point, too, on the finish, throwing it down hard. Oh, what a terrific play on both ends. Verizhao's shot is good. You know, the defense has to prevent the ball from getting down into that area if they're going to be successful, guys. Well, there's some very popular destinations for free agents around the league. Chicago, New York, Miami. But for me, the Lakers are still the premier market for players. You know, big city, a history of winning with the Laker organization. 
and fantastic weather. Coach. Those are shots he shouldn't be afraid to take. He can make them. Nash against Irving. Irving gets a screen from Waiters. Irving dishes to Waiters. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. From downtown, and again, Kyrie Irving for three. Irving's got six. And, Steve, to follow up on your point, the whole aspect of Hollywood has always been a big lure for the Lakers as uh, far as recruiting part free agents. We've seen it over the years with all the big names they've gotten assigned in free agency. No doubt about it, the Lakers are still one of those destination teams for a lot of players in the league. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Then for the Cavaliers, Zeller is checked in for Verishaw. Spates comes in for Tristan Thompson. And Ellington is subbed in for Waiters. Cavaliers have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Spates kicks to Irving. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Boy, it's so impressive to see a young guy like Kyrie Irving carry his team's offense, and that's exactly what he's done. You know, he's able to score for himself or find open teammates with his ball handling and passing. So the, the ideal point guard for a young team. And, you know, another exceptional quality for Kyrie being a player so early in his career is how calm and collected he is at the end of the game. I mean, he looks almost like a 15-year veteran late in game. Checked by Kobe. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And the Lakers with some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Hill. And it's Nash in for Meta World Peaks. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Maurice Spates. Here's Blake. Jamis in the pass to Howard. Jams it with authority. Throwing it down with one hand and making it look easy. Easy and fun. He just thrives on making the D look silly. Yeah, which is something he does pretty often, Kevin. They get the rebound. Now the feed to Blake. Back to Nash. Pass to Howard. Here's Kobe, off target from the wing. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Here's Miles, and that's not going to go. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Lakers lead by one, and the second quarter will... Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Really good sign offensively the way they started this game out, getting a lot of hoops from close range. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get baskets inside. I know you were a three-point shooter, Steve, and a really good one, but it's always easier to score in the paint. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the four for Cleveland. Thompson at the four and Verizhal at the five. Kyrie Irving is out there with Daniel Gibson, and it's G in at the three. You know, a tremendous start to last season for Anderson Verizhal. He was rebounding ferociously, leading the NBA in offensive boards, and then a broken wrist in February meant he had to miss most of the rest of the season. And, of course, a shot at the All-Star game. Just a shame. Here's G. Finds himself wide open and drills it. G's got his first points of the game. Lakers trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They've got to find some. You're right. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Kevin, it's been a career of milestones for Kobe Bryant. The youngest player to score 26,000 points. The only perimeter player to make an all-NBA team past the 1,200 game mark. But Kobe set up the records. I don't know about them until they come up. When I'm older and I'm like 70 years old or something like that, maybe then I'll get a little more sentimental. But right now, I just want to win. I just want number six. I'm not asking for too much, man. Just give me a six ring. Kevin, it's all about the jewelry. Well, we'll see if the Lakers can find a way. Thank you, Doris. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Zeller is checked in for very shot. Spates comes in for Tristan Thompson. C.J. Myers, he's checked in for Alonzo G. And Ellington is subbed in for Daniel Gibson. And the Lakers with another miss. The Cavaliers leading by five. 
And of course the Lakers shipped off Lamar Odom before last season started and uh, just got a late first round pick from Dallas in return. Not exactly uh, what you would expect in terms of uh, you know, a player of Lamar Odom's caliber. You'd, you'd think they could have done better with that deal. Nash kicks to World Peace. Will it go? There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. And it's seven points for Meta World Peace. Irving against Nash. Dishes to Miles. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. The Lakers ended up being fine with how they played, but really, as you said, it seems like they missed out on, on getting more in return. Yeah, the whole trade appeared to be sort of a panic move. I mean, they didn't play well early, but ultimately adjusted, and I think that trade definitely hurt them early last season. Antoine Jameson's checked in for the Lakers. Blake comes in for Meeks. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Waiters comes in for Kyrie Irving. Blake dishes to Jamison, shoots over Miles, and World Peace kicks to Jamison, gets the 14 foot of the fall. He is so good at working himself into the open spots on the floor inside that three point line. Now here's Waiters, he's guarded closely. He kicks to Spates. Now the dish to Miles. Goes right up, and he lays it straight in. Miles has got four points now in the quarter. Boy, and they're often scorching now. Red hot. They've really turned it on. I don't think they can play any better, guys. I mean, they are just making it look easy out there. Kicks it to Hill. Yes, and it's Blake picking up the assist. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. And some changes here for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Hill. Gasol comes in for Antoine Jameson. And Kobe is subbed in for Steve Blake. Cleveland also making some changes. Anderson Barajas checked in for Spates. Alonzo G comes in for C.J. Miles. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Wayne Ellington. Gibson with it, guarded now by Nash. Gibson against Nash. Three-pointer. No good from Gibson. Lakers trail by five. The shot's good for Nash. 59 seconds left in the first half of basketball. That's good. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last 10 points they've given up inside, in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Irving's checked in. Howard setting the pick for Nash. He passes it to Gasol. Kobe. Kobe gets a screen from Gasol. Off the pick. Kobe, that's good. Kobe's got his second basket of the game. Good display of physicality by Gasol to set that shot up. Poked away. That's out of bounds to the Cavaliers as Cleveland retains possession. For the Cavaliers, Zeller is checked in for Tristan Thompson. And Ellington is subbed in for Waiters. He feeds it to Zeller. Back to Irving. Zeller setting the pick for Irving. Shot clock at five. There's the pass to Zeller. Howard with the steal. Well, winding down, they're going to go for the last shot here in the court. Yeah, I like the recognition there. They're going to play for the last shot, just as you said. And Irving throws it down. Sweet finish there, showing you some major strength and the ability to sky. I rode that elevator right to the top floor. <laughs> Explosive hops. I'll tell you what, he can really catch you off guard. Gets it off. No good. And so we wrap up the first half. Cavaliers on top. They lead by six. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Welcome, I'm Damon Bruce. A great game going on out at Staples Center. The Cavaliers off to a great start. A dominating performance offensively. They're getting everything they want. Some terrific basketball from Kyrie Irving. His range has been off the charts. Five feet, 25 feet. There's no difference in the shot to him. 
And on the other hand, the Lakers are still alive. They'd like to forget that first half. Coach has not been happy with what he's seen out there, and they'll likely come out with major adjustments. Antoine Jameson off to a rough start. The flavor for that first half, Brickalicious. He'll have to improve. And we'll be heading back to the court for the rest of our coverage as we go to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke for the second half. A view here of the skyline over Los Angeles, California, as we welcome you back. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, give him credit. He's been very selective with his shots. And it's paying off for him and his team. You know, he's taking exactly what the defense has given him, and he's not forced anything. That's exactly how you should play the game, in my opinion. Kobe, Meta, and Paul Gasol are the guys who make up the two, three, and four slots. Nash out there with Howard. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. A slight advantage for them in the rebound category. They've got to continue their work on the glass. Yeah, I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they're on the right side of the ledger, and that is all that matters to them right now with the lead they had. Here's Waiters. Howard with the block. And it's the Lakers on the break. Kobe's got the ball. Gasol passes to Nash. Back to Gasol. No one near him. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Nash has got four assists in the game. Smart move with that mismatch he's got. You know what? That extra advantage sure pays off on the mid-range jump. Here's Irving. Gets it to go. Irving's got 15. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get the easy two. It's been no postseason action for Cleveland since... LeBron James left. Overall, it seems the franchise goes on these spurts of making and not making the playoffs. I don't think they'll have to wait too long before getting back there, though. A lot of good young players in the Cavs system now. Here's G, guarded by Kobe. Shot clock at six. G dishes the Berger, and he bends it home with one hand. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guys. Yeah, those are the ones. I mean, you just can't allow that. No, if you're giving up dunks and layups defensively, you're in huge trouble. Getting back, Clark, to what you said about Cleveland. Postseason, not a problem for them, but the franchise still looking for their first championship. Well, they came close. Number 2007, they made the finals, although they did get swept by San Antonio. But that was when LeBron James was around. And ever since the trade, or I should say the defection of LeBron. Ultimately, it was a sign of trade, but ever since LeBron left, they've been in rebuilding mode here in Cleveland. Zeller, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Ellington comes in for Waiters. Here's G. Oh! oh ridiculous move. Tore it down that time. <laughs> that's taking it strong right there. Yeah, finishing in style. Uh, you can feel a sense of anticipation when he heads for the hoop because that's what he can do. And the highlight real replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. Here's Kobe. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Kobe's got four this quarter. You know, it's interesting. Sometimes with him, the contested shots are the ones that he tends to make. You know, sometimes if he's wide open, he misses. But you get a hand in his face, he seems to relish it. And on top of that, Steve, he usually saves his best for last. So many times we've seen him raise his level of play in the fourth quarter exactly when the game's on the line. Boy, what a tremendous rookie season it was a year ago for Kyrie Irving. And the thing you forget, he had to take the whole summer off uh, going in just to rest his foot. Played only 11 games his freshman year at Duke. Came out and still was able to contribute right away at a high level in the NBA. Feeds to Thompson. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And it's a 10-point Cavalier lead. Creating that kind of shot in close is really your primary objective every possession. Some changes for the Lakers. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for Howard. Clark comes in for Pau Gasol. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Steve Nash. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Berejau's checked in for Zeller. Spates comes in for Tristan Thompson. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Alonzo G. And it's Waiters in for Kyrie Irving. And you go back to that summer off for Kyrie Irving. You said it was the hardest two months of his life. Well, not being able to work on his game for a guy who has his ability and loves the game the way he does. You factor in the anticipation of starting your NBA career. 
nonetheless, it was worth the wait. This young man is special. Staples Center was just an unwelcoming venue all around last season, and the Lakers did their part by defending the home court not only with pride, but passion, too. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Hill. Jamison comes in for Earl Clark. And it's Jody Meeks in for Metal World Peace. 56 seconds left to play in the third. Irving kicks to Waiters. Passes to Thompson. He dishes it to Waiters. Here's the screen. It's up a three. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers take it the other way. Lakers always tough, as you mentioned, Clark, here at home. And last year, no different. Ended up 26-7 uh, and seven here inside the Staples Center. It was a big part, Steve, of why they were able to win the Pacific Division. Well, any team that is a serious championship contender, uh, Kevin, is going to control its home floor. And the Lakers, despite the fact that they lost in the conference semifinals, uh, they, they were a contender, and they controlled their home floor pretty much all season long. There's the triple. The rebound by Blake. The open shot. That builds a little momentum going into the next quarter. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Cavaliers lead by six. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And as the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke to find out who's had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Hey, guys. Kyrie Irving has had an uncontainable game tonight. It's no secret he is their first option on offense, and he has lived up to that distinction with his ability to score in this one. Look for him to take an even greater role in the fourth. Doris, thanks. His first three quarters have been outstanding. But he's put so much energy in those first three quarters, Kevin. You wonder, does he have anything left in the tank to keep it going in the fourth? You know what, Steve? I'd be surprised if there's any drop-off here. As hot as he's been, he should be able to just ride that wave of momentum and adrenaline for as long as he needs to. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, they've got Alonzo G, Anderson Verajan out there with Maurice Spates. Then there's Wayne Ellington, and it's Gibson in at the one. And Verajal kicks to Spates. Waiters defended by Nash. But they get it back. The feed to Ellington. Pass to Waiters. Dishes it to Verajal. He kicks it to Ellington. The dish to Waiters. Verajal with a screen on Nash. Now here's Waiters, covered by World Peace. Verizhao setting the pick for Waiters. Kicks it to G. Fader on the way. Shot is off. Great T that time from World Peace. He feeds it to Nash. To the inside. Bryant. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. Nash has got his fifth assist in this one. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, during that break, Coach Byron Scott had some words for his team. He was highly animated when he was talking to them, telling them this is going to be a huge win for us. When we close this out, it will go a long way towards showing the rest of the league what we're capable of. And as always, Doris, thank you. And Verizhao kicks to G. He passes to Waiters. Over Blake. Shots good by Waiters. And the Cavaliers lead by five. And this continues to be a shootout. Boy, I'm a fan as well as a commentator, and I love this fast-paced action. I mean, it's going back and forth, back and forth. Up top, Kobe. Right side, Kobe, with one on the clock. It's rebounded by Cleveland. G's got four rebounds in this game. Now here's Waiters. Defense is right there. Gathers, and he makes good on the way. Waiters got four points this quarter. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. 
Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. It's stolen by G. And there's the pass to Waiters. Count the bucket. And it's a nine-point Cavalier lead. He's really flipped the script with his performance here in the second half. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Kobe passes to Gasol. The Cavaliers pull it in. Ellington's got his third rebound tonight. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Now here's Waiters. And the shot is good. Well, it's been a tale of two halves, hasn't it, guys? After a terrible first half, he's really picking it up. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Outside world peace. Feeds the Blake. Looking to end the run. Gets it to go. That's a defensive letup right there. I mean, they've got to close down on him quicker when he's in three-point range. The Cavaliers have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Waiters off a pick from Verjao. Shots good by Waiters. Waiters got 12 points in just the second half. They saw just a little bit of daylight and went right to the rim. The Lakers making a switch here. Nash has checked in. And then for Cleveland, Tristan Thompson comes in for Maurice Spates. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Wayne Ellington. Here's Kobe. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Kobe having just a fantastic game. 12 points. He has one block in the game, too. I don't care if it's a small contribution. I mean, getting everybody to chip in with a little help on defense is so critical to a team's success. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Lakers trail by eight. Goes up off the inbound, and it's good on the way up. Kobe's got six points in the quarter. And you can see the strategy has been to take the ball inside here. That's where you get high percentage looks and draw fouls, Steve, and it's a good way to play. The free throw drops for Kobe. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Waiters dishes to Irving. Verjao with a screen on Nash. Irving with it. And it's Howard picking him up. Five to shoot. Oh, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's the Lakers now. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. No room for mistakes right now. On the wing, Kobe. Over Irving. Kobe misses. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Oh. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And that should do it. This is an insurmountable lead. Yep, there's too little time left, too big a deficit to overcome. This one's over. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hill. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. And he commits the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. Here comes Kobe. Here's Howard. Cut! A rim rocker! Up for a second like he might rip the cylinder loose. Now that is some <laughs> strength there, guys. We see the Cavaliers get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin.
Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving.